Hey everybody, Hawk here, and uh, I was hanging out on Shad's Discord server, which you should go check out. It's in a link's in his newest video's description, and uh, we we're talking about bull arms. And I remembered I have an English bill, and I haven't been doing a lot of cutting tests with it, so I'm gonna get on that now. So I've got myself a couple of milk jugs, and this will be my first test using rolled up wet newspaper. So we're going to see how that goes, and probably laugh at me as it sucks. So, without further ado, my good old cold steel bill here, classic milk jug, let's do this. You gotta love it when it's freshly sharpened, don't you? Right through that with the tip, keep it into itself. Good swing in here. There we go. See, look how clean that is if I actually swing right. I just gotta say, for the 120 bucks, I'm liking this. It's definitely. Only worth what I paid for. Ooh. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Look how nice that is. Nice. Get a good hit on it when it comes in and cuts like that. Then you swing it and it gets caught right there in the crescent. Ooh, that's gonna be nice. All right, so I'm gonna set up the rolled up newspaper and we're gonna see how much I suck at cutting those. All right, this is about three copies of the Wall Street Journal rolled up, held together with some duct tape and some rubber bands, and it soaked for about 20 minutes, give or take. Now, I honestly have no idea how good this is gonna work. Because uh, this is currently just a hunk of a 2x4, give or take, with a nail holding this in. So I'm hoping it doesn't just go flying off. But we'll see, won't we? So it did go flying off. But, but, it did. Okay, so it went flying off, but it did cut pretty nice, actually. It's a pretty nice cut there. Now, I'm thinking it's just because it didn't have quite enough grip. I'm wondering if I need a wider nail, perhaps, or something else. But let's, let's just keep going at this. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to find something else to secure this better, but it is, it's cutting quite cleanly, actually. Perhaps I soaked it too long, that might have, maybe that's doing it, but maybe don't soak it for, I'll try only just soaking it for like five minutes next time, maybe that'll help it out. Okay, so I didn't hit that all that hard. But uh, as you can see, even a gentle hit got us about a solid third of the way through this. That just goes to show you how devastating a weapon like this is. Now, this clearly isn't, you know, human muscle analog. It's not quite as dense or quite as durable, but it's not a bad analog to at least just give a general show of how how easy it is to, to 
cut just through straight muscle. It's kind of nuts. All right, one's more knocked it loose. But, yeah, this is just cleaving straight through this with no effort. Which is something I'm very happy about. Let's see if we, let's see if I can do a tip cut here. So, this one got a little odd. So as you can see, it kind of shredded itself as it flipped, but that, actually get a, there we go, get a good look here. That is just the tip. That's, that was right up here hitting, all right? This, this is the cutting edge. I mean, this definitely can cut clearly, but it's more of a, you know, stab into someone so you can kind of pull out or something, but this is the part that's designed for the big swing cuts. And this did that. Look at that. Whole arms, everybody. They are devastating. They are cheap to make, easy to use, as you can clearly see, and absolutely devastating. They're fantastic. There's a good reason why they have been used so prolifically throughout all of history. And it's just, it's mind-boggling. I mean, to see what this would do to an unarmored person. Now, again, this is only so good of an analog. If I had more money, I'd probably get a pig carcass and stab the crap out of that. That'd be excellent, but wet newspaper. It's definitely good enough. But yeah, this, I hope this is the first of many videos of me cutting newspaper, and I'm gonna figure out a better setup for that, because the nail in a board thing's not working. Maybe I need more nails. Get three nails, kind of just ram it in there. I don't know. I'll figure that out. If you have any suggestions, stick them in the comments for me, all right? So everybody, remember to like, share, subscribe, smash that bell if you haven't already. You all have a wonderful day.